people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. It is Bling Bling Sunday. I'm excited. Um, again, I'm going to go with this map. I have decided that once a week I'm going to come down. I will try to answer questions and I will push all the pins in. So if I haven't liked and hearted your comment, that means I haven't put it on yet. So don't double do it because I haven't done it, but I will do it. I promise. I figured that I found that was easier for me to do it in one day. I plop on a Netflix movie and I go at it. And I think that's kind of fun. It gives me it's a little calming for me and I get to answer some questions because I've been bad not responding and I apologize for that. So with that being said, my amazing people, I'm excited. So yes, please don't forget. This is our family, our YouTube family. Um, I, I think this is just the most fun idea. So I will give you, <clears throat> and the other comment was, it would be nice to have a close up of it. So at the end of my video, when I show you the close up of the painting, I'm gonna do the same. Cause I find it's kind of hard cause I've taken the camera down and all that fun stuff. Unless I started off with that. Maybe my next video, I'll start off with a close up. That's what I'll do. Does that sound good to you? I hope that's good. So today I'm excited because I'm trying something different. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in a video where I had seen somebody use double-sided tape to trim out their um, water alcohol ink painting. They trimmed it out with double-sided tape and put glitter on it. Mind-blowing. So, I played around. Look, it holds glass. What? That's left over from last week's video. That's the leftover. It holds it. Yeah, I'm excited. So that's today. We are going to get into this because I'm excited. We're going to just do because it's all straight lines. I ordered this off of Amazon when the lovely lady had mentioned it because I like to I have all these things in my head that I want to do so I keep purchasing things to do it and, and I just don't have the time so this kit came there's all these thicknesses of tape and they're all double-sided so we're gonna go basic right because I can't do a whole lot so this is what I thought. I don't know, we're trying to figure out some geometrics, but then I got to figure out how to untape and because I want it to be multicolors, of course. Can't just have it one color. But anyways, so I'll figure that out. I'm going to get my crown off. The necklace I made, isn't that pretty? I keep forgetting to put on my jewelry. But anyways, enough of that. With that being said, we're going to get down into this business. I'm going to get my working clothes on. And I'll see you in a second with some tape and some glitter and some glass. Oh my! <laughs> okay, I've picked out Laura's glitters. Oh my goodness, look at these, look at these, look at these. So we have Blueberry Sparkle. We have Boysenberry Sparkle. We have Blue Diamonds. Blue Diamonds. We have Chunky Blue Sky. And we also have Parisian Blue Twinkle. So I thought we would use these. I might not be able to use all of them, depending on how many I put up. And the glass, I'm gonna use a Shake Off. So this is basically silver glitters, Laura's silver glitters. I'm not sure which ones, but they're in there. And some silver glass. And then I also have some glass shards, which, would awesomely work on this because it's just going to stick to the tape. It won't sink like you do with your resin. So with that, I'm going to put my lids on my glitters. And then we are going to give my, I was going to base coat it black. I was thought something different, but no, I think we're just going to go with this. We're going to leave it. This is this one. I, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it with white. So, 
I just thought I'd show you the glitters. I'll mention them again as we do them, but I think this is so cool. And we could, I'm just going to shake off that. We could also, I probably in today's video, just for videoing purposes, might not, but you more than likely, without a doubt, can put a coat of resin over this probably. Just got to make sure everything is shaken off. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to do a quick and simple base coat of white. And let's get at it, my friends. Nothing fancy. This is my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White. Soft body. It's a shame they changed their um, recipe. Goofing us all up with our butch pores, eh, guys? There. I just dunked my paintbrush in my water just to get it damp. You can put water on your canvas. It helps adhere the paint and it helps shrink the canvas up if you're having an issue. And I forgot to grab a plate to put my paint on. There we go. Just a little styrofoam plate. I try them to go environmentally friendly, but I do try and wash these up after. There we go. Just white it we go. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just want paint on the canvas so that it's not just gesso. Oh, I didn't tell you. This is a, I'm pretty sure it's a 12 by 12, but we're going to, it might be 14. I'll give it a tape measure here as soon as I'm done. We have it push pinned and taped on the bottom. Like I said, it doesn't have to be crazy. I don't want a thick, thick coat. I want it to dry quick. We're just going to do a quick paint on the edges. This is just an awesome idea. And I've been wanting to try it, but... There we go. And this side. Tip it up this way. Again, like I've mentioned before, it doesn't affect the top of your painting. There we go. Just a quick, easy, simple base coat. I even put too much paint on my little table, my little thingamabobber. All right, so I'm going to wash out my brush. We're going to let this dry completely because I don't want the tape to take off as well. The, mind you, once the tape is on, the tape is on. While we're doing this, maybe I'll just tell you what I want to do. I'm thinking we will go wide and use the glass and then we'll use various different little ones and I'm just going to try and do I'm going to come in and do an edge and then an edge I'm just going to do I'm going to do squares inside each other it's simple and it'll be the first time using it so I want something simple right so I may not have enough to use all of these amazing glitters, but I thought I'd pull them all out. We're going sherry color this time, not out of my comfort zone with pinks. We're going to go blues and my silver paint. So I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go wash out my brush. Wash, 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 so you don't ruin, ruin, ruin. And I'll see you in a sec. We are back. Everything is dry. It looks pretty cool. I just have to remember to put my painting in my little X's so I make sure you're in the in in frame so I even found this as I was going through um craft smart which is um dollar tree has these is a double-sided tape and it's the exact same one as this one I just bought this kit because there's um there's six sizes 
yeah, there's six different widths, which is pretty sweet. And the width from the Dollar Tree is the second smallest, which is kind of cool. So I thought I would do, oh, decisions, my friends. I found this yardstick. I don't know if you guys remember. I don't know. I had this on my desk a few times when I was in public school. Because <laughs> go figure, Sherry used to talk when I was in school. Never got hit with it, but my desk got smacked pretty good. It scared me a couple times. So I thought I was wanting to do a border with maybe the glass and then do a smaller piece on the inside with glass. So let's get the wide one and we will just, it's just tape. And I'm going to cut the end so that it is straight. Not all goofied up like when you try to take it off. All right. And with this, I'm thinking you need a pretty good pair of scissors. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to leave just... I want to get right to the end. Not right to the end, but pretty much. Kind of when your canvas starts. I don't know how I'm explaining that right. Oh. Sorry guys, I gotta pick it up just a tad so I can there. So it's even. I'm gonna cut that piece. Just a tad. There we go. I'm leaving the tape on. Now I'm going to come this way. I'm going to flip it. And then I'm going to cut it that way. I think that would be the easiest way for me. Right to where about the rim starts. Hold it up is the easiest way. Run your finger down so you're adhering it. And then when you get to the end, a little snip. There you go. You could be all fancy and miter the edge, but you don't need to because it's gonna adhere. So what I thought I'd do is lay the tape out first and then we'll get into and take some stuff off. You guys may have an easier way of doing this. Some of you might have already used this before. And if you have, let me know the little tips and tricks because I think this is awesome. Kind of a game changer, a little bit. And if it overlaps, when you peel this one off, that one will fall down and you can overlap it. There we go. And now lay it close to there. And look at this. Because I had it laying around. I've got, can you see? And I don't even think my tape can take that off. Let's try it. Because if it was blue, it wouldn't matter. I'm just taking some of my tape here and see if that'll. Oh, it does. Okay. So I'm going to have to. Because we don't want. No, Sherry, that was really silly. You don't want the red glitter that I seen there. Okay, there 
go. I had it sitting on my table for so long because I was wanting to try it. And it comes off pretty easy with when it's against the, the paper if you overlap it. And like I said, I'm just going to when I pull that tape off, it'll lift up. Okay, now, where do we go from there? Um, I bought this nice ruler as well, so now I can use this one. What if we did... Come in with the... We'll skip that one. Come in, skip that one, and use these <clears throat> two. Because I think, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Make sure there's nothing on this inside of this tape. Get it all off. Perfect. All right. So I used the wide one. I'm going to set those aside, the ones that I used. Find the end. And you could, here, I can draw a pencil line because I'm going to cover it up with the, so let's do it. We're going to go my edge. We're going to go here. Unless, does that the same? Going on this line and going on this line. Okay, so that's good. And then you see where it's grit. So I took it to the edge and I'm, I'm leaving the last line of the grit. So, so I'm going here last line. Well here I might as well I can do this down and it'll give me something to follow which will be nice. Possibly erase that. There. Didn't think you'd get a math lesson and glitter all at the same time. You guys must think you're special today. <laughs> oh, I want to go this way and use the last. <clears throat> Too funny. I think we're going to go here. I'm estimating on that end. Estimated pretty darn good. All right, so let's draw a line from here to here. There we go. Draw a line down to here. Let's see where that goes. And that line is right on. I need to come up a little on that one. There we go. Easy peasy. So now I'm going to take the second set of tape, which I got here, and go right on that line. Oh, let me get the end off because the end is a little funky. I'm going to come on just this side of my line. 
So I'm going to cover the line. Sort of straight. And then we're going to come on this side of the line. And I cut it on an angle. I have to pay attention. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing, guys, but it's, it's kind of hard to. Show you at the same time. Cut it straight. Ah, look at that straight. Now I can see my little bit of a line, so I'm going to see if I can come back and. Um, you know what? I don't see why I couldn't paint in between either. And then when I pull, oh my my. We're going to try that. What do you think? a little short. Stick that there and then when time comes I will fix that. Now <clears throat> that's that one. Let's go this one. I'm gonna take off all the tape that's all the glitter that's on the side before I start. Sorry guys. Uh, my glitterific, my glitterific friends, you know my pain when you when you see all this glitter everywhere. So now, let's do the same width. We'll go all the way. So we'll do the same thing. So I'm going to do edge to edge. We're going to go had it this way. So from the edge of that one to this one, we're going to go to here. The last one. To that to here. The last one. Attach these two. Well, maybe measure this first. To the edge. And that needs to come down to here. Here, this line. Why does that look so crooked? Oh, 
Oh my, Sherry. That one's way off. Okay, let me... <laughs> you can fast forward until I get to where all the tape is on if you'd like. But I'm showing everybody everything, my friends. Because that's how we work here. <clears throat> Start on this end. Hold it down. Edge. Oh, I did it the wrong way. So that's the line there. if I'm off a bit. For my first time, I think I'll be doing good. Now we're going to do this tape. Sorry, trying to get it up off the... Just had my nails done. I find since I've had my nails done, I can't. You can't scratch yourself. You can't do any of that stuff that you used to do. I'm just gonna cut it with the pencil. There we go. Better, better, better. There we go. Oh, pretty good. If it's off, you're going to, what it is, what it is. We are just experimenting today. I have not perfect. I know it's scary to think that. And that's a joke. I tell my husband I'm perfect all the time, but he just laughs at me. All right. Why is this one so difficult? Oh 
what I <clears throat> thought it would be easier is to do each, remove each tape and then do that specific, obviously, because you can't take all the tape off. And then, um, yeah. Do we do? I don't see why I can't paint in between. Um, sorry, I'm still thinking the process, my friends. Last one here. Let's see. the wrong way. Let's do this down here. I know. And that was a good guess. All right, let's get that one drawn. A creature of habit, can you tell? Okay. I keep missing my marks. That's why I was wondering about painting. I know that's off, but <sighs> I'm just, I know I should measure. I've measured this much all the way in, but I'm just going for it. There we go. And then maybe, 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 we will leave the little one. Let's work backwards now. I'm going to leave that one. So let's let's go with this size. And then we'll work back and have a big one in the middle. Making it straight. Can 
you could have even just did a strip this way and then did lines this way and then one this way, you know. Of course, I had to make something that I had to measure everything. It's going to go fast once this is done. one and then we're done you're going thank the way yes you're done and yes I have a measure one more time let's go here Oh, that was a good guess. I'm just gonna, but see, it looks off. That's just so weird. Anyway, I wanna go wider. Let's just do this. We're gonna go here to here. Eyeball it to this line. I'll just work through here, I'll bring it down. All right. So what I thought we would do is start with glitter, end with glitter, or glass, and then end with glass. There. All 
All right. Now I'm going to take my finger and rub each and every one. You know what? I'm not going to... Maybe I'll paint. Oh, I know what we're going to do. I know exactly what we're going to do. We are going to put some Mod Podge in between the glitters after, and then maybe use the glass shards. Because, all right, let's go center and work our way out. So I'm going to mix this up. Let me just get a little cup that's easier for me to take it out of. You want to mix it up because it's got glitter in it. Look at that. Shake off, see? Eh? So that's that. So we're going to use that for the center. Let's pull our tape. Let me, because I was explaining with my nails, and where's my little, I have an exacto knife, a little wee one, and of course it is right here beside me. Okay, so I'm just going to try and take a corner, peel off, make sure you're leaving the tape layer that's satisfaction you hear that all right let's do this one because it's overlapping let me get the edge here and you want to be careful you don't want to cut your your canvas either there we go and then this one we can put on top of that one. Something happened there, so I may have to see if I can get another little piece of... Let me get can you see that right there? I'm gonna take another little piece of tip here. Let me get a piece right here. I'm gonna run that along here. Can you see where it come off? Right here. So there's not a piece of tape there. So I'm just gonna try. I have a little piece that was There, and then peel off the top. There we go. Maybe it's there. I just got to get it. Toledo. It's a struggle, my guys. <laughs> that was more difficult than it should have been. Okay, so I'm going to use a spoon. I am sweating like a little piglet down here today. I don't know what is with that. So I'm going to stir this up. You see all of Laura's glitters in there too. So I'm going to stir this up. Now, I'm going to take my finger gently, because remember, 
we're working with broken glass. Now, I'm going to get a puppy pad. <clears throat> Actually, I'm wondering, yeah, we'll do a puppy pad and then I'll just upside down so I can collect it all. And this is instantaneously, right? Look at that. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm excited. It is so cool when plant comes together. Now, I don't want to... I'm just going to... Brush very gently, because I don't want to lose it all. Are you seeing what I'm doing? I'm just brushing gently. Awesomeness. Okay. I'm going to pick this up. And this is what I do. I bring it into the corners. And I'm going to put it back in this container. And then that way... Make sure this little foldy thing is out because it ain't going to go too far with that folded up. All right, here, let's go. Get in there. There we go. <laughs> and there's always something. I just give it a, a little shake. That's hilarious. Anyway, I'm messy, Marvin, and you guys know that. So here we go. Next one, let's see what glitter we will use. Let's take the tape off. Oh, I'm excited. This is gonna be so cool. Okay, let's get, it's like instant gratification because you don't need to wait for anything to dry. Oops, that's pulling up, okay. Let's get this guy down here. And you are in there. Perfect. Okay. I just want to be mindful. Just get the edge of that tape so you don't have the issue that I had and had to come back and Put a little piece in there. There we go. And then that one can lay on top. Awesome. Perfect. All right, now. Which glitter do we use? Oh. Let's go with Blueberry Sparkle, being it's in this container. And it's got the shaky end and it's got the oh my gosh side. So we're gonna do the shaky end and we're gonna go gently, try not to get in on top of that one because Look at that, guys. I always say, Laura, you had me at glitter. Now with this, I don't know, you could probably do a spray varnish on it. I'm just afraid. I like the glitter is all natural and the stuff, but. There. 
now. I'm gonna get a I keep using the same brush, but let me get a I just want to brush it in. Okay, I'm going to shake it off, guys. I'm going to try to not disturb. This is going to be the only daunting task is the... Here, let me just do it. Sure, be mindful you're not poking up the other tape, but I want to make sure I can get all of this so when I remove the glitter on this one, it is going to be good. And I think it's nice to stick with the same colors because if some of the glue gets or some of the glitter gets underneath that layer where you're trying to brush off it's in the same hues oh my 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 that is stunning okay let me just pick this up I'm gonna get there, a piece of glass you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna fold it save you guys time and we'll do another one so we're going to do another glass on the end to finish it off so I've got two more glitters to choose from so we just use that keep that out of the way let's do this one we won't use the boysenberry because it's more or less the same. All right, let's bring her down. Let's bring her down. <gasps> and let's get this one off. Now, if you've got double-sided tape where there's this on both ends, you could cut it to be a wiggly line. You could. I just want it to be kind of something basic that everybody can kind of play with. On top of that, where it joined there, it was sticking up a little. And here I see we're missing a little piece so I'm gonna come again and take a little piece and place it on there just enough to don't want to miss a 
spot where there's no glitter in there. Okay, now let's let's lay these out. I have two more glitters to use. I think these two. So this glitter yeah, is going to go now. This one is the Diamond Blue. I'm just going to put the lids on the other ones because, you know, I am just a little bit of a messy person. And where did my spoon go? I don't know, but I have another one. Let's go. And this one is a combo again. So you want to make sure you shake it. You stir it because it's fine and chunky. I gotta, I gotta do it this way. Use the back of a spoon to spread out what's there. And, oh, and then I'm not scraping out as much. It's nice in the, it's, that's why I put some of them in the, um, the shaker depends what you're doing with it, right? And then hit and miss, hit and miss, hit and miss, hit and miss, and then we can spread it. This worked. Move the back of the spoon, get it all adhered. All right, put the lid on that one. And here we go, guys. I'm just going to do this and then we'll shake off what's left. going to pester you with cleaning this up. I'm just going to fold it back up because this glitter will not be wasted. Look at that, look at that, look at that. <whistles> Them something pretty. I'm just going to fold this up. on it diamond blue I'll know what they are that that and we got one more to go and let's this is so freaking excited it's amazing <clears throat> just got to think out of the box when you when you see things different ways to use it.
make sure it sticks. There we go. I want to press that guy down. Pull off that. And this is my first time doing this. I haven't done it off camera. So you're learning with me, my friends. There we go. So, which one did we decide? Let's keep it with the diamond. Let's keep it with the blues. I'm not going to use this one. This one is Chunky Blue Sky. All right. Lost my spoon again. <laughs> Got all kinds of them. All right, here we go. I'm just going for it here, and we're just going to. And again, this does not get wasted, my friends. Please don't think I'm wasting. Give it a good little varnish of the... I don't want to skimp, but I don't want to have to shake off so much glitter either. <laughs> but that's a good idea. Take it the back of your spoon and go all around, and that'll adhere it awesomely. My lid on that, so now I know I have three glitters to tell you amazing people what I used. And let's go. Shake one more time. Beautiful. All right, let's get this off. And then one. This one's everywhere. To this point, I personally, this is hilarious, I don't own a vacuum. So if you're at this point, you could vacuum it off with your soft brush. amazing. You could do 
bigger versions. You could do like two-way carpet tape if you wanted something really wide. My dad was tell him I was telling him what I was doing. I was talking to him this morning. Carpet tape would be good too. And that would be actually awesome for glass. There. So let me just pick this up so I don't get any more. Get that out of there. And honest, I'm not I'm not wasting it. Put the doll down to the center. Oh, I have to pay attention when I do this one because there's a little bit of glass in that one. All right. I have three gifts. And is this the silver? No, that's not. So let's do, we're going to do the glass last. <clears throat> and I apologize if this video is long, but I just think it's cool. All right, let's get these last pieces off. I may have to just... Oh no. Dos, I'm not saying it right probably. That didn't sound very good. <laughs> uh, we'll leave it at that. I've only had one coffee, but it's Awesomeness. Okay, now we're back to the glass. I'm going to give it a stir up, pour some more in this cup, off to the side because I don't want to. And I got a bristle in there. Okay, now we're going to load up the glass on the edge. And you got to keep stirring it because it's got some amazing glitters in it too. So. Oh, I think that just finishes it off, ties it together. Put some because there's glasses falling out. glitter than glass so let me just I'm scooping up some of the glass it's falling okay I'm just pressing it all in mindful. Again, you're working with glass.
and I might not be getting a whole lot of glass. It might just be a lot of glitter. So let me just shake this part off. That, oh my gosh. I just can't take my eyes off you. That is freaking amazing. I'm impressed with myself, my friends. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna put this on my board. And I'm gonna clean all this up in a second, but that is just stunning. Stunning. I'm impressed with myself. I was gonna put color, but I don't think I will. I don't need to do anything. Um, if you want, you could do a real good coat of some spray varnish. Let me just... Like you could use a good coat of that on it. But I'm not going to put it on right now because... I would rather do it outside. All right, so I'm gonna hang it up on my board behind me and then we're gonna do a nice close up of our map. So hold on, I'll be right back. All right, there you go guys. I just kind of hung it on the map for the moment just to get a nice close up. Like, look at that. It is shiny, it is glitterific, it is beautiful. Now, there's many ways you can do this. I'll hold it this way. Like, just stunning. I hope you like it. I think it turned out pretty. Um, we're going to try it again. Like, look at Laura's glitters. That's just stunning. Beautiful. There you go. So with that, I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to get a nice close-up of your map now because I had a couple requests like and like I said I do not have all of them on it would be nice I probably should have got just <laughs> an American map a Canadian map because like look at that massive amount of pins it's right on the borderline so you get a lot of people, like I was saying, Ontario, a lot of people in Ontario, Quebec, and are right on the border of the states, which is kind of cool. And then we got a couple in here. One down here. Some South Africa. And we got Kenya. We have India. And like I said, I have a bunch that I have to put on. So if you don't see yours right now and you've commented, but I will like and I will heart your map. There's nothing there. Ah, there we go. And we have our Australians. So with that, my amazing people, with that being said, I hope you have an amazing day. I'm going to put this back up here while I do my spiel because I love sharing the wealth with my sponsors. So with that, if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing, helping me get to my 100K of my YouTube journey. That would be awesome. And with that, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me with my YouTube, how they put everything out there. And I would like to <clears throat> go through my, um, everything that I use will be in the description box as always. And all of my discount codes will be in there, but I'm just gonna go through. So today we have, for the, <laughs> we have our two amazing Lorez distributors. We have the most amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru. Um, Glitters here today. My discount code for Laura is all capital letters Sherry Moulton 10%. Go check out her website. She's got much more than just glitters. 
I have uh, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. She's my Canadian Lares distributor and much, much more. Go check out her website. My discount code for Laura is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. I also have Lares with a discount code of Sherry M10. I now have the US link, I have a Canadian link, and I also have a UK link. And all of the discount codes are all the same. Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. I have the links to Crystal Resin with my discount code of Sherry Molten 5, capital S. And I have another new one. Thank you for the love on my last video from the Washi Tape Shop. My discount code for them is all capital letters, Sherry 10. And then I have the links to where to purchase the amazing Julie Cuts Molds. Um, I also have the links to where to purchase Molds and Shapes Amazing Molds. And then I also have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. And my PayPal link is in there if you choose to help donate and support my channel. And my Amazon links are there, which I'm an affiliate with. So with that, my amazing people, with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys. And that is so glitterifically pretty. Bye, guys.